M-E-T-A-L, metal, M-O-N-T-H-L-Y, monthly, metal, monthly, new metal, no new metal, all new metal. Howdy, banger fans. Blaine Smith welcoming you to another Metal Monthly, Bangers Monthly look at what's coming out in metal releases. Thanks for coming out. It's uh, our, the best month of the year for metal. It is October, the spooky month, when everybody releases a record. Oh my God, there are so many records jammed in, and it, it was so hard to choose. Uh, so let's just start talking about some records because there's so many good ones. Oh my God. As always, off the top, we're listing some of the bigger releases of the month. You've probably heard of a lot of these bands. If you're a fan, you might want to get on that pre-order now, though. October 8th, we've got Blood Red Throne releasing Imperial Congregation on Nuclear Blast. Creeping Death is releasing the Edge of Existence EP on E1. We've got Kowloon Walled City releasing Piecework on Neurot slash Gilead. October 15th, we've got The Agonist releasing Days Before the World Wept EP on Napalm. Hate releasing Rugia on Metal Blade. October 22nd, we've got Dream Theater, A View from the Top of the World on Inside Out Music. Uh, we've got Every Time I Die releasing Radical on Epitaph. October 29th, now we're getting into the, you know, it's a Halloween, so stuff's coming fast. Archspire, Bleed the Future on Season of Mist. Belacor on Napalm. Napalm releasing Coherence, Lucifer releasing Four in Roman numerals, IV on Century Media, Whitechapel releasing Kin on Metal Blade, and October 31st, a special Halloween release. Uh, one of my favorite bands, Ultra Tomb, is releasing Abyss Mortifer on Temple of Mystery. You know that would have been in here, but it was such a jam-packed month. I've thrown a lot of spotlight on them over the years, so I just want to spread that love around and help shine on some bands you might not have heard in our next segment, which is me talking about my five favorite underground releases coming out. Let's get to that. Up first, we've got my big release, the number one thing I've been listening to, the thing I'm loving this month and I'm going to love for at least a couple of months. I'll tell you that with this one. It is Worm Forever Glade on 20 bucks spin. It comes out October 22nd. Ooh, boy. This is the best thing to come out of Florida since I don't know anything. What happens in Florida usually stays in Florida. Uh, and it's Death Doom, what a surprise. My favorite record of the month is a Death Doom record with a cover where I don't know what's going on uh, on the cover and I, I like it. Thanks, uh, Brad Moore. So the first thing we're gonna talk about this record is synths? question mark, and it's not me complaining about them, which I normally would do. Normally you'd introduce a record like this to me and say there's synths on it, and I would go, no, why did you ruin it? But the synths aren't overused. They nail a perfect synth tone that doesn't ruin the creepy, gross, swampy vibe of the whole record, and it pairs perfectly with that nice Death Doom guitar tone. My favorite thing about Death Doom is when a band nails a great guitar tone, and these guys have absolutely done it. Uh, for from reading the liner notes, it seems like there's one vocalist, but there's high and low vocals, and sometimes they're over top of each other, and I always love that. That's a primo choice. It's great stuff. Uh, this might be the most Blaine release of the year. Just when you when when it's in stores, there should just be a, a sticker on my face on the cover, because this is the Blainiest thing I've heard in a while. Up next, I hope you like hearing the word knife, because this is the band Knife with the album Knife on Dying Victims Productions, also coming out October 22nd. Uh, knife! This is some German black and speed punk. It, sorry, one second. I, I don't feel like I can talk about this band without 
There we go. So this is some blackened German speed punk, and can we just take a minute to acknowledge how beautifully stupid this whole thing is? It's a band called Knife, releasing an album called Knife, and the cover is a man holding a knife, bursting out of the ground in front of the band's logo, which features, you guessed it, a knife. <laughs> that is some perfect, well, just, just that perfect kind of German metal stupidity that just gets me going. And uh, this record is a record that's going to get you going. I really can't even count how many times it just filled my chest with energy. You know, the way good stuff like this does. It just like, you can feel it inside you and you want to move, you want to go. And so many songs have just a, a, an amazing guitar part that I'm like, damn, I just want to loop this song. But I can't loop this song because there's going to be another song coming up soon that's going to give me that same feeling in my chest and I just gotta loop the whole record baby yeah I, I, I just it's only 36 minutes which is just the perfect length to keep this party jamming uh, if you like your metal uh, paired with beer and knife this record's gonna be for you there's even a song on it uh, titled K N I F E and what does that spell Yep. All right, all right, enough, enough knives in this video, <laughs> moving on. We've got Ghost Bath releasing Self-Loather on Nuclear Blast, but also I think Northern Silence, depending on where you live. I don't know, uh, October 29th, we'll all find out, I guess. So this is some American <clears throat> uh, uh, black metal with some posty action going on. I, uh, I, I wanted to acknowledge the cover art, but reading the liner notes, there's actually like a bunch of people involved in making this cover look the way it did. So good job, everybody. Good job, team. Thanks. Um, so a little story here. Uh, a member uh, of, of, of Ghost Bath comes and hangs out in my Twitch chat, and he's a nice guy, and I like him. Uh, that's a reminder that I also have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash metal comedy, where I research this video. You can check it out this Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Anyways, um, uh, he comes and hangs out, and uh, uh, it's been a little awkward because, I, like I said, I like him, but uh, I, I've yet to tell him that I don't like Ghost Bath. Goal! Uh, and then he messaged me and was like, we have a new record coming out. And I was like, double goal! Uh, but I listened to it because I'm not a jerk. And uh, hey, everything uh, I didn't like about Ghost Bath is gone. And uh, uh, everything about this record is great. Um, uh, I, basically, I'm just not that into posty black metal. But uh, uh, they restrained the post black metal guitar tone to uh, certain parts of the album. Uh, and then other parts of the album, we get that more depressive black metal tone. And it creates a balance. And now I enjoy that tone because there's a compliment to it. It's not just uh, it's not just that one guitar tone uh, primarily throughout the album, and that's great. Uh, another amazing uh, uh, improvement. Dennis's vocals uh, are awesome all over the whole record. There's still that extremely buried, suicidal, depressive black metal wail you get, but again, it's just variety. Sometimes it's low, sometimes it's high. They've got guest vocalists on it. Just again, just, uh, just, I can't believe the level of uh, improvement on this record. This is an amazing record. Uh, this is, I will say it, this is the best marriage of the post black metal and black metal sound I've heard coming from the perspective of a black metal guy. So if you've been on the fence or <laughs> off the fence about the post metal, this record should still be something you put on because I think convert a bunch of us dumb jerks. Up next, I've been keeping you waiting, but so many people have been messaging me about this record, so let's just listen to it. It's 1914's Where Fear and Weapons Meet on Napalm Records, coming out October 22nd.
Here we've got some Ukrainian blackened death doom. Yes, double death doom month, double D's baby, ka-ching. Um, uh, great cover. Look at that thing. Uh, and to the people that messaged me saying to check this out, yes, uh, of course I know about this band. And you would have known about this band already too if you were a Patreon subscriber because we put up a tip sheet every month where we include some records that you might want to check out. And 1914's release was on there back in 2018, baby. Let's go. Sneaking these plugs in here on you. Um, you give us some money and then I don't have to tell you uh, about like stamps or whatever people normally talk about in here. Hey, buy coffee over the internet? There's a shop in your town. Um, uh, but I'm not serious. Uh, I'm so happy so many people are hearing about this band uh, and getting pumped about them because it, it, there's so much to be excited about here. The music is great, but we'll talk about that in a second. The thing that's really impressive about this band is their attention to detail and just the complete package they're presenting. Uh, they're a, a band that sings about World War One, which isn't exactly uncommon. But the zeal and 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 uh, completeness they do it with, uh, from from using primary sources for lyrics to telling more off the beaten track stories that you might not already know, uh, using authentic war sounds for ambient effects in the background. There's a Ukrainian folk artist on here at one point just just really doing what most bands don't do which is actually seeming they like they like history and not just a, a big thing go boom. Um, but to talk about the music uh, uh, again it's a very similar thing because they're not a black and death doom band that plays black and death doom. They are a band that sometimes plays black metal, they sometimes play death metal, they sometimes play doom metal, and then sometimes they put it all together. It's really just such a complete package, such a robust thing that they're giving you that please we all need to appreciate and acknowledge this is so much more work than is necessary. Thus we come to our palette cleanse of the month. We've got Shadowland, the Necromancer's Castle coming out on No Remorse Record October 22nd. I know they're all coming out at the end of the month, but it's Halloween. It's when people release spooky albums. <laughs> Finally, we've got some New York heavy metal. And let's just toss up a band photo real quick because look at these five perfect specimens. That's how you do a sexy band photo. If you're not into one of these five humans, I don't know, you're a corpse. Uh, 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 on the album cover, it's a great, uh, it should be on the side of a van airbrushing done by Tanya Finder. And uh, speaking of Tanya Finder, she's also the vocalist, just, just working twice as hard. Uh, and the vocals are really what grabbed me off the top. Uh, she's got a, uh, uh, Christine Davis from Christian Mistress, but with just more heavy metal sleaze going on. We got two guitarists on the album, Jeff Filmer and Al Balmer, and I don't know which er is doing what, but both of them are doing great. The uh, solos and the fast riffs are super fun. The more mid-tempo stuff kind of reminds me of fellow New Yorkers, nature, na na nature with no E on the end. Um, and, and can I just throw out a, a big, salute to a heavy metal band that doesn't front load their album. They really space out the, the high energy, get you pumped jams for the whole thing. They even end with two favorite songs on the album, I think. Easy Living and Pretty Faces, whether they're the best or not, are absolutely great. And they're the last two albums uh, on the song. So that's a thing where you go, damn, what a way to finish an album strong. Play it again, Sam. Press that play button, just like you should press that uh, subscribe button, because we're a YouTube channel. And at some point, we have to say the word subscribe uh, and like and comment. Uh, otherwise, I get executed on the spot. 
Uh, that's been Metal Monthly. We put out content like this uh, twice a week. Please come by. We've got great Overkill Globals airing uh, where we look at different metal scenes. Uh, we've got our normal reviews. We got interviews. We got all kinds of stuff. Thanks for coming out. Boom.